In response to the Alliance Army's plea, Judith has agreed to provide soldiers. To meet up with reinforcements, the Alliance Army sets out for Alel, the Valley of Torment. Unbeknownst to Claude, something else awaits them there. I wonder if this is going to be the first battle where we start seeing students from the other houses. Because, like, I never recruited anyone except for the ones that Claude could support with, so I mean... And the DLC units. Uh, why is it so hot? I'm getting all sweaty. Don't be a wimp. Anything's worth it for more food supplies. Move over, Raphael. Somehow you make the heat even worse. Let's stay calm, everyone. Once we meet up with Judith's soldiers, we can go right back home. Oh, I finally remembered. The legend goes that this valley was born from the wrath of the goddess. They say a pillar of light poured from the heavens and completely burned away the forest that used to be here. So you're telling me the goddess, who is supposed to be benevolent, burned a forest to a crisp? Typical. That's what the legend would have us believe. But it's not recorded in any of the scriptures. Either it's completely made up, or the goddess is some kind of monster. Huh? Is that...? The time for idle chatter is over, Claude. Look over there. Ah, has someone come to greet us? Hmm, whichever one I randomly land on enemies. That banner does not bear the Daphno crest. If memory serves, that's the crest of House Roe, formerly Lords of the Kingdom. They joined the Empire side without hesitation during the coup. And now here they are, lying in wait for us. Damn. I thought we had disposed of all the spies. House Roe is mediocre and vulgar, but I hear their knights are powerful. What about the Daphnal soldiers? You don't think... We need to break through the ranks. We've already been spotted, so there's no time to come up with a brilliant plan. Everyone, prepare for battle. I leave the command in your capable hands, my friend. All right, time for ambush at ALL. <laughs> Apparently, Lysithia is the one that goes into the sauna the most when she already has a personal skill that makes her learn everything so much faster. I guess the sauna just, like, adds on to that. Well, I guess the whole classroom skill points that you get is separate from, like, the in-battle skill points that the personal skill gives. I'll turn my cameras back on now, along with Dogi Cam and Thanks. stuff. Is the thing loud on you? Everybody out. Out, 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 out. Ah, yes, this volcano one. Yeah, I remember fighting Ash here. Isn't there, like, a way that... Because in my second playthrough, my Blue Lions playthrough, where I did, like, as many things as I possibly could all the time, I recruited everyone. So, like, this never happened where there was, you know, somebody for me to fight there. But I believe that the professor can, like, potentially talk to some units and recruit them? Maybe? I don't know, because I haven't done it before. After 250-ish parts or something. Um, first things first, I'm gonna go into my inventory and make sure that Marianne gets that sword from before. Yeah, let's see here. Crest of the Beast, magic weapon. Crest bearer can use Beast Fang. Cool. Let's give you that, how about? Um, then... Sure, I'll bring some good units here and there. Wait, I don't need these freaking torches anymore. Is a thing. Constance has a torch too. I can get rid of that. Let's see. This probably isn't going to be as hard as that last chapter, so I might reclass Lysithia to a Gremory instead for like better magic growths and only use like Dark Flyer on like the really, really crazy maps or something. Raphael's low level. He can use some levels. I'm with Flane. I mean. Ah, and we have our first master class with Leone that we can always try out. Try it out next time, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Or something. 
Um, I do kind of want to test out freaking Wyvern. Wyvern Master, Vantage Wrath, Defiant Crit, Close Counter, Claude. Like, can't I just put him into the fray and have him delete everything? So, other adjutants. Um, yeah, sure. And then, like... I don't know. Sure. Oh, I can bring in... Oh, Lawrence could use some levels. I mean... What did I take out then? Darn you, game. Well, I guess we're not bringing Balt this this time, because Lawrence could use some uh, level ups and things. Um, let's see here. I'm going to reclass Lysithia. To... Warlock. I hope this is the right choice. I mean, I could just do Gremory. What is the? It's Bowbreaker is the class mastery skill for Warlock. And if I ever really wanted, I could always create a class maxi machine for it on a free day. But I could always do. You're literally four away from maxing this. Well, whatever. Let's just max that out, I guess. Um, yeah. Try out Warlock there, Lawrence. And then, did I, I'm not bringing in constants, okay. Um, yeah, for the adjutants, that's just for supports and such. And then Leone can say, do some more paladin stuff in the background, I guess. And Constance is Gremory. You just need one more warlock encounter, apparently. I'm, how did I not max this out before? literally just like one little notch away from maxing that out it's probably gonna be maxed out this battle who are you with doesn't show there who are you with well we'll find out in a bit anyway um let's see here yuri has a ton of movement so like whatever well yeah i can see if i can recruit ash i don't know if i can or not i don't know how it works because Last playthrough, I recruited everybody. Like, I never had situations like this. The Valley of Torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. So, their general must be that stubborn-looking old man. He looks like he wouldn't even forgive a sobbing child. It's good we came armed for the occasion. Care to find Judith? Flames are flaring everywhere and burning people where they stand. Hillel's a terrible place. Everyone, if you don't want to get burned to a crisp, watch your step. All right, you will do. I'm going to try to get Byleth over here to Ash as soon as I can. Because I might be able to save him from death, right. maybe? I honestly don't know. Yeah, I should be able to take you out with the Brave Bow before you even get to counter attack because Brave Weapons are freaking OP as heck! Sorry, Let me tell you. But I must. Can I get. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, your freaking movement, Yuri. Sorry. Your freaking movement, though, and then Kanto dancing is absolutely insane. Can I take you out now, too? Sweet. Goodbye. <laughs> well, we don't have to worry about that little peninsula of snipers now. As I make my way around. I am going to strategy? get Byleth ready to come over this way. Okay, so it's just the Cavalier that'd be able to reach there, in which case I'll put freaking Wall Hilda here. Oh, I should give you your Steel Axe back after you had a torch last time. Whoops. Darn it. Whoops, whatever. I guess you don't get the axe Shall this we? time. Do you want a freaking lance from... Lawrence? Like a generic lance? There you go. Have fun, I guess. We'll just use the Leave brave one for now. I suppose. Onward. Okay. Um. We'll just kind of advance forward here. There's no rush or anything. Just kind of best. generally advance forward. Alright, so let's see what happens when that 1% attacks Wall Hilda. 
quite full of themselves, son. Just as I thought, the Professor's army. But it's too late to back out now. In Lenato's place, I have to do my duty. Can I save him? Does he have to die? What are the requirements for saving him, I wonder? Ow! What? What? Unbelievable. All right, here they come. Bait them out, that's good. I could always just go to the convoy right now. Let's see here. Pfft, they're kind of beefy, aren't they? They're honestly kind of beefy. Not gonna lie. All right, we're just gonna do a little errand run. I'm sorry, I changed my mind. You want your lance back? I need... Yeah, there. Perfect. Wait, unless there's a Steel Axe Plus that I can take instead that's just lying around. Oh, freaking heck, yeah, I will take that. Thank you. Combat Arts. Oh, for reposition. Sure. Um, Flame could use some levels. Hm, I guess I'll just fire you. Goodbye. Oh, they also have, I'm just now noticing they have master classes now. Those are great knights. Or that was a great knight right there. You want to get Falcon Ponched? It's not enough, but like, I'll Falcon Ponch you anyway. Oh, come on! Well, well, time to die by the little ball of light. Goodbye. <laughs> I guess. I will not die okay, sir. Yet. Um. Hmm. I'd rather use my units that could use more level ups. But I mean, <laughs> could cast death from there. I might just have to. Oh man. I guess Claude's gonna take out one more. Whoa! Yo! Oh my... Oh, well, brave boys, I guess. Maddening. Sorry, but I Continues must. to completely amaze me. Sure. That. And then, sure, bait him out, and then we can just like, sure. Probably should have used one of the ones that has more uses because Marianne can probably now still shred forward. through this dude, but whatever. Can I bait out Ash as well? Wow, uh, yes, but it's tricky. Sure, let's go for it. And we just like chill here. Hello, hello, Alucard. How's it I going don't today? To fight you, Professor. Then don't fight me. Can I recruit you? But this is how it has Hellos. to be. No back. Welcome to Maddening Classic Freaking. Please miss. Ow, rude. I wonder if he has like poison strike and things. Nope, I guess because he's potentially recruitable. Hello, hello. Well, he doubles me? Miss, 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 miss. Oh my goodness, I just lost the map. Dreams of men don't amount to much. Sorry, but it's up to you now. Um, what's my strategy? I'll take my time with it a little bit more, I'll I think. My, best. my goodness. Anyway, how are you doing, though, Hello. Alucard? How are things going? Maybe I'll just like... Yeah, whatever. Whatever, I guess. Ow. Hey, he just sweet. That worked out. You're doing good, how have I been? I've been stressing out about this game right here. But otherwise, doing alrighty. 
otherwise doing all right enough and i'm sure i'll figure out the solution here i lost like freaking five hours of grinding earlier today when it comes to this game so i wasn't super impressed about that but i'll just <laughs> let's move on with it i suppose just move on with life and see what comes of it and things staying on, relatively on top of things in university trying to freaking make a bunch of new video essays and stuff like one on this game and all the things that i don't like about it oh ash came can i i can't talk is there hold on hmm came by to hear some fire emblem lore uh the lore is i seemingly can't recruit a do i need to defeat him hold on i'm gonna i'm going to google Ambush at ALL. Recruit Ash? Hold on. Hold on a hot second. Wait. Um. Apparently, maybe when you knock somebody out or bring their health to zero, it might give you the option. If your Byleth meets the requirements for recruiting the character, the game seems that. Well, I never met the requirements for recruiting him before. So. He is recruitable in Golden Deer Chapter 15, but you need to have support with him. I think you die, Ash. Um. I don't want to fight you, Professor. But this is how it has to be. There's no turning back. I'm so sorry, Ash. I know this is it. No! But I don't want to die. Can I save him? Give me the prompt. Why is this so long? I'm sorry, Ash. I never got a freaking support with you. Uh, sorry if you randomly disappear and don't answer, it's 2.30 a.m. You don't know why you're awake. I understand that feel. It's getting decently late over here. But I definitely understand that feeling. Well, I guess Ash... Ash died. Welp. Isn't that something? I'm just gonna, like, run up to this dudo. I like, smack a him. But yeah, anyway, in terms of Fire Emblem lore... I don't really have a whole lot to share. I guess there's the fact that you can only recruit people when you support with them, and I never did that. That's not really lower, but I mean. Let's see here. So useless. Holy crap. Miasma! Miasma! Same old, same old. I kill with miasma! This is what I better do. Ugh, pff, gross. And Constance got to level up too. Oh, that's who I gave. Then all oh, these freaking level ups suck! I don't My goodness gracious. Um. Oh, that archer would attack me. Ah. Well, I Shall could we? just have everybody else go around this Shall way. We? Go, Hilda. You are my wall. Leave it to me. Slow and steady wins the race here. So I probably need at least like C support with him or something, but I never bothered to like support with people outside of my class because I want to experience this game the way that it was more so intended to be played. Well, not intended to be played, but more intended to be played on a blind playthrough where you have to have some people die. Wait, wait, they're actually coming out, right? No, I didn't want you to come yet. Oh no. Wait, I had Claude move over here as well. Uh, Hilda, throw your axe at him. I didn't really do a whole lot of damage, but hey, Could be useful. hey, that's cool at least. Uh, oh, it's so bad. Why did I just sound like the freaking one of those old geezers from the freaking SpongeBob cartoon? Uh, so bad, man. Um, what the hell do I do here? This bait out the one guy, I guess. Uh, 
I'll like wait to cross. And then over here I can like ah, crud. Ah crud! I mean Lysithia can just I mean Bees! The bees or whatever the heck the swarm here is. Ah, uh, and then, I mean, I could just have Claude do it, I mean. How about I do this? Like that. Didn't get the 1% crit. I guess I am not the 1%. And then I'll be able to finish you off with Raphael. Can't afford to lose. Is a thing, and Raphael should be able to take some hits. If he needs to. Not gonna use all these wards anyway, so I'll take the free experience, I guess. Wait, who did I move? What? Oh. Okay, let's see what happens here with this set of shenanigans. Ow. Ow. Oh, are you gonna poison me because it's a venom bow? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, this baits you out. Ow, and does more damage than I would have liked. It's poison strike, but no actual poison damage, despite the name of poison strike. This might be the what's my strategy? Time to use the thing. Wait, what was that? What was that one? Wait. <laughs> Risk it all. <laughs> Darn you, game! This game sucks. I don't know why I have like 250-ish episodes of this on my freaking YouTube channel. Don't know why I've streamed this like 60 times now, basically. I'm in. Oh, so close. I don't really want to use the Devil Sword if I can avoid it. Eh, whatever Brave Sword it is. I suppose. Don't expect any sympathy. Okay, well, please be a good level up. You can turn the camera on this screen? 300 hours in, I'm just now learning this. How long in this game are you going for all endings? This game is a 70 hour JRPG in four different routes, except the thing is the entire first half is the same as in, is the same in all of them. And by actually a little bit more than first half, technically. It's a 70 hour JRPG with four different routes, except the first half, or the, it's, they're all the routes are the same for the first 20 to 50 hours though, which is a decent bit more than half. Um, and you have to like lock in what route you're doing at the beginning of the game, so that's a, uh, this is playthrough three, and I don't think I'm gonna do the fourth, because I'm so tired of this game, considering I still don't have the full story yet, and this game is like hella repetitive, and it has a lot of things that I really don't like about it, and it's systems, to the point, that I am currently working on a video essay on this exact subject about everything I don't like about this game, which is currently 35 minutes done, but by the end, it is probably going to be an hour long. There's just some footage of Fire Emblem Fates because of part of the video essay where I was, like, comparing things. But, yeah. Once I edit the rest of this in to the script, it's going to be a freaking long video. So, like... It's a game that is probably best enjoyed doing one, maybe two playthroughs by doing like maybe one playthrough to first learn the game and do it casually and then one playthrough to try like hard or maddening mode for the higher difficulties and really challenge yourself. More than that is just like freaking end my suffering and everything you don't like of a game you played for over 200 hours. Yeah, I... No strength. Fire Emblem Three Houses is, at the end of the day, a good game. But it just sucks that to get to that good game buried beneath the surface, you have to dig through a repetitive mess to get to there. Is the sad thing. I feel like this game is best enjoyed doing a casual playthrough, and then maybe one more playthrough to, like, try one of the harder difficulties or something like that, like hard or maddening. But trying all routes is so not worth it. The only reason I'm doing it is because I'm a freaking content creator. I'm like, hey, I'll cover all the things. Make sure that I, like, cover all the, all these fronts and stuff. 
And my original plan was to cover all four. I don't think I can... I don't think I can build up the motivation to do all four. Honestly. I don't think so. What's I... I might not even need to gambit, you guys. Maybe. Because if I do this... That was weird lag. Okay. Now you crit, after you take damage. But the damage could actually help me because now my freaking insane crit skills are gonna kick in. So I should now have like 100% crit rate if those guys attack me. Because what those skills that I'm using are totally fun and balanced and don't break the game at all or anything. Let's see what happens. Why not? Let's bring these two over here. Oh, you can attack with death from there. I think that I should I take them best. out, despite the fact that I'm like one-shotable to anything. Oh, reinforcements, that's cool. What? Please don't attack me on the same turn. I'm pretty sure they don't attack you on the same turn. Like Fire Emblem, what? They do move. D what? That's not fair to have freaking ambush spawns that attack you on the same turn. Don't blame me for not wanting to play a game of fourth time where everything is the same but changes for the last third part. Yeah, that's and that's basically the whole re one of the biggest reasons why I'm making a video essay on on the game. There's a lot of issues I have with the game. The biggest is probably the fact that like you lock in the route right at the beginning of There's the game, no but then you have to do like the same first 20 to 50 hours and then have like a little bit of new stuff at no the end. Hesitation. This build is so freaking busted. I love it. <laughs> I might purposefully keep myself at low health specifically for this reason. Um, but there's also things like the fact that there. Hey, look, there's the dudos that I guess I'm gonna have to protect. Oh, old Wendell is here, and he doesn't. Like, I don't know if you're familiar with like other. I, oh, I won't interrupt this. Sorry. The hero of Daphnel is here. I'll expect more from her than the young ones. More reinforcements. Okay, cool. Oh, so I can't let her fall. So I need to freaking rush over there. Is what I gotta do. Is what you're telling me here. Um. Anyway. Um, another one of my big problems with the game is the fact that, like, you don't get to keep your save files. What that means is the entire game is on, like, a schedule. There's a calendar system. I probably can't check it from this menu since I'm in battle. But the entire game is on a calendar system. So other Fire Emblem games, like all the 3DS ones, are like, here's a world map. On this world map, you can go do some grinding stuff. You can go do story missions to progress the story. Whatever you want. Whereas this game exists on a calendar system where it's like... Grind, 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 story. Grind, 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 story. Grind, 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 story. And if you skip any of those grinding sessions or don't make full use of them, then you never get to make full use of them again. Like, once they pass by on the calendar, you never get to go back and do that again. Like, it's just gone. Or if you get to a story chapter and you're not strong enough to beat it at your current strength, you can't go back and grind. You've now softlocked the game. So... You, on the harder difficulties, you can't just skip these grinding sessions and bum rush the story. Or you can't just grind at your own pace because it only gives you like so many time slots to do so. And then once you make it to like the final boss and you beat the game, that's it's literally it for that save file. Like my, I have a save file with over a hundred hours. It prompted me to save before the credits, and now anytime I load that save file, it just plays the credits. But even if I hadn't saved before the credits, and I was just saved before the final boss, that's all that save file would ever be. All my 100 hours would just be being able to refight the final boss of my current strength, and that's it. It's not like the other Fire Emblem games, or the other 3DS Fire Emblem games, where you get to actually keep your save file and have, like, some post-game challenges you can do. Or, like, do some more grinding to make some really crazy builds or something like that if you want to, like, refight the final boss with, like, a completely different strategy in mind or whatnot. Like, the entire course of Three Houses is basically, like, a slow... A slowly inching unstoppable train always inching towards the end of the game and once you reach the end of the game then guess what that save file is just like in purgatory it's useless now until the end of time like you never get to like use it for anything other than fighting the Sorry, final boss it's like this. so messed up so I look at things like my hundred hour save file Sorry. that can now literally never be used in any way ever again and it's like wow that's great isn't it there's only one save file I have to overwrite to play Second First Forest, or does it add any perks from it, or is it from scratch? There's a lot of different save slots, I'm not sure exactly how many, but there's like plenty to do multiple different playthroughs. But once you reach the end of like a file, 
it still remains that however many hours you have in that file, all you can ever do on it ever again is the, like the final boss. Like there's no post game activities. There's no option to grind at your own pace because the game makes all these timetables that are like, you have to grind now, you have to do story now. You have to grind now, you have to do story now. And if you skip any of those grind sessions, well then it freaking survive. punishes you for doing that. Um, so this game has some issues here and there. Is your range three? I believe it should be. Yeah, range is three. You lied, there is no fire emblem, only pain. Yeah, that honestly sounds about right. Yes, exactly. It's linear with no backtracking, though some of the older Fire Emblem games, like the Game Boy Advanced ones, apart from Sacred Stones, uh, for Fire Emblem 6 and 7 on the Game Boy Advanced, those are examples of linear games where you just go from one story chapter to another, to another, to another. But that's all that there is. There's no, like, grinding missions or anything like that. No side activities. You just go from one story chapter to another. So the entire game is, like, maybe 20 hours. So if you get, like, softlocked by not being strong enough, like, a few hours in, it's like, okay, I guess I'll start back from the beginning and go in with, like, a strategy to, you know, level up some characters more. It's not like Three Houses, where it has side activities up the yin-yang that are all, that all counts as grinding. So if its entire story is, like, 70 hours instead, and... You never get to backtrack, you never get to like grind or prepare more, and if you're screwed on a save file, then I guess you're just screwed. I they apparently don't like Yuri. Why not? If I move happy in here. No, I don't want to heal my unit. Wait! Yeah, I gotta take out that archer. Because he has three range. I don't have anything that has three range, do I? No, I don't. So I do need somebody else to bait out Mr. Archer, man. Like, I could always heal myself. But... I did the wrong thing. Well, there goes one of my Divine Pulse charges. Yeah. Why not? This Archer really does not want to come out after freaking... Happy. Well, there goes another Divine Pulse charge, I guess. Survive. Uh, if I go kill that archer. Dang it, but there's another one. Darn it. I'm a great stream. You're going to go sleep now. We're going to have to be prepared for some charge rage coming today because they typically got you, got you. I appreciate the three bits and you stopped by hanging out, Hawk's Corner. Hope you have a good rest of the night. And that all is swimming, goes swimmingly and stuff. Um, I don't... Oh! I'll do my best. Oh, I can't get over there. Wait, but yes, I can. If I put Happy here and don't heal, wait. Or should I heal? Darn it. Darn it, that dude reaches to here, meaning I can't go to... The archer would suddenly go after me if he knows he can one-shot and kill me. I want to be at low health for my crazy build, but my crazy build only works when I can counterattack, and I can't counterattack archers. That is my issue here. But I need to, like, basically bum rush over there. At the ready. I could have clawed maybe sniped some of them. I mean, let's go like here. Like, he can go after that one right now, but only if he uses fail not. And he can't even kill with it. So that'd have to be like a next turn kind of deal. So I can't even really do anything this turn then. Darn you, game! I could get prepared for a stride play for next turn and like rush over there see how much it helps me all right so my upper squad is gonna have to deal with all those nerds now oh they are not gonna last very long if I don't freaking rush over there are they one of them's already down Oh my goodness, maddening mode is fun and balanced. Oh no. 
I need to rush over there. Quick as I can. Almost half her health is... Over half her health is already gone. Oh, here come these nerds. I need to rush over there. No, why would you attack him and then take more damage? Okay, well... I need to freaking rush over there right now, which is why I'm going to have Mary Yangi stride here. To give us all some extra movement. But how far can we go anyway? Like, I know Yuri should be able to go super far with that. My goodness gracious. But I mean... Oh. I'd have to use Fail Not here. And it wouldn't even kill? Ah. I can't even take them all out. I can take out two of them. At the most. Why do you do this to me, game? At least they prioritize targeting the other dude who I don't need to keep alive. I just need to keep Judith alive. I might not want to put Yuri there because the other archer is going to come after him if he does that. I'll silver bow you. You got yourself. Should I gambit them? Wait. If we go all the way over here with the crazy stride, dance for Claude. This may be the time to use this. Pull out all the stops. So, 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 if only Gambits could kill multiple oh, units God. at once. If only, imagine. For now. Of course you get a good level up a unit I don't even use. So they're at least stopped in place now. Can't even talk this turn. Doesn't seem like. All right, and you won't kill her, so that's fine. As long as she doesn't kill herself by attacking him after, which she might honestly do. Knowing AI in this game, I have a 100% crit rate with the killing edge. For this crazy build. Welp. All is, going to plan. is it all going to plan? I'm pretty sure the fire tiles take off my health, but they don't kill me, so I should go to, like, one health with that. My asthma. I mean, I could have also just not done that, and then you would have, like, they would have thrown themselves at my unit and just, like, died. Oh my goodness, what is going on over here? Will this squad be able to deal with all this crap? Maybe if I use battalions. I will not fall. Oh, it's so scary. Onward. What else? Oh, it's so scary. Let's make this quick. Shall we? Let's put Hilda on the defensive tile, maybe. Oh my goodness, are the reinforcements infant? No, stop appearing over there! Gavai's <laughs> nice. Of course you missed. Oh, why do you have the short axe on? Why is that anyway? Oh no. Ah yes, I love random ambush spawn reinforcements that attack on the same turn that they come out so that you had literally no notice to know that they're coming and then they immediately kill one of your units. Yes, strategy gameplay at its finest. Let me tell you. Absolutely strategy gameplay at its finest right here. I hate this game. <laughs> this game is so stupid. <sighs> Should I just hold myself in the freaking little hidey hole over there? If I- Oh! Ah! What do I do here? I will not fall. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure there's other ambush spawns in- in even this game, but other Fire Emblem games as well, where 
but they spawn, but they only attack, like, on the next turn, so that you actually have, like, at least one turn to, like, deal with it and be like, okay, how do I adapt around this? Instead of just being like, oh, guess I just die. <laughs> guess I just die now. Onward. Ah. Let's make this quick. Shall we? Form a little Leave bit of me. a wall around everybody, maybe? Let's hope that the freaking dude over there can't reach over here. At least you have, like, the undo kind of thing, the limited uses of it. Unlike older games where you just had to restart the map on the spot. Oh, come on! That's literally as far as I can run to! I can't do anything here! That's literally as far as I can run! Are you kidding me? How many more uses of Divine Pulse do I have? I'll have three more after I do this. rescue from here? I can. Shall we? Ah, he'd just be able to go around though. Reposition, huh? Shove. If only I had draw back on Raphael. If only to pull one tile more over. This dude can reach my stupid little hidey hole no matter what I do. I can make a three unit hidey hole. Is what I could always do. You do have warp. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to use warp. Leave it to me. Would Lysithia be able to take a hit from him? Probably not. I mean. You have drawback, but... Hmm. What if? Is the other screen a picture or a camera on my dog sleeping? That's a camera. If I turn this camera down, you can see her. You can see her right back there on this camera as well if I turn that down a bit. Also, sorry about me being kind of lost in thought here. Here comes the potential big brain play. I was thinking about warping Lorenz away. You're gonna come be defense over here is a thing. He does have a good shield and stuff. Uh, he might get doubled if I have Nosferatu on, so it might not be the best idea. I was just thinking I could restore a little bit of health, if that's the case. But, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And then that. Thank goodness I have some elixirs around. Sometimes I forget. Oh, I hate this one dude so much! I'm gonna have to deal with all these guys, as this guy probably infinitely spawns. Okay, so... Yeah, Raphael can take the two hits. 
I don't think the poison can kill him. It's probably going to bring him to 1 HP, though. Did it again. It's not the best level up. I don't know what you mean, did it again. This is the thing. Just wondering, why is your dog sleeping so cozy while you're still up at 3 a.m.? My doggy freaking loves that Sorry. back couch. She absolutely loves sleeping on the thing. I don't know how she puts up with me, like, yelling as I'm streaming and stuff. Well. Well, they're taken out, I guess. But now you're one shot of also, like, be careful and stuff. No strength left. Oh, now this is the freaking situation and a half, isn't it? We can potentially tuck into the little hidey hole over here. I mean... Hmm. I might need to send some reinforcements over here while my current units tuck into the little hidey hole. I have three more charges of Divine Pulse. Yeah, and I can force you to attack Hilda, potentially. Shall we? I can use Recover on you to gain, like, a whole bunch of HP back. Leave it to me. You know, it recovers 50% of H H its HP. I forgot that was a thing. Isn't this the... Here's all status effects. Oh, that'll cure your poison. Yeah, of course you're gonna go after Lawrence now, huh? It's on the Steelax Plus. Wait, I can't block him, can I? I can! Interesting. Yes, let's have my freaking tanky Hilda be there. Nice. Oh, Marianne's still here. I need somebody else to take out that archer, and then my Catherine. unit can probably sweep up. I mean, Claude might be able to... This should work. This should work, though. Okay. I fought and won. Okay, but I can't canto from there. I may not survive. The only ones that should be able to counter my freaking craziness are the archers, and they're far away. And if just one attacks Claude, or even two, he should be fine. I could see what's in the crazy chests. Yeah, let's do this. Allow me to demonstrate. Uh, let's just guarantee crit you. Them well. Hey, look at you. There's no way Yuri can make it over that far. I mean, oh my goodness, his movement is so busted. Well done. Hmm, let's do this. Let's just guarantee crit all kinds of nerds. Dang it, I didn't want Crest of Flames to heal me. Because then I might not have to fight crit anymore for the extra crit rate. Because I might not be under 25% HP anymore. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'd have to get my unit down there if I want to open that chest. And access the convoy and such. Um... do my best I mean I could have Marianne come in as like a reinforcement over there this tiny little squad over here should be able to like solo everything up there why not considering what they've got I guess sure so I'll just send those guys in that way this is what I'll do all right so Hilda's gonna relatively tank it why do you always miss on the counter attack? Like, every time. I hope that more of them change direction to yes this way. Thank you. Let's see, I make sure that the archers are out of the way so they don't snipe me in my crazy build from afar. Okay, do I still have Defiant Crit active? I must pull through. No, I don't. It might be fine, maybe. Like you move. I might not get the chests. Um, I'm gonna quickly see if the chests are even worth it. Hold on. Fire emblem wiki. Ambush at ALL. If it's like anything freaking, you know, crazy spicy. Um, map data, victory, yada yada. 
item data. So there's a bolt axe and a silver shield in the chest, apparently, according to Fire Emblem Wiki. So I don't think I need those. I don't think so. As long as I stay out of the... None of you have two range, do you? You're all melee? Because if you're all melee and I equip the killing edge, I might just be able to 100% crit rate all of you, maybe. I'll save that as the last thing I do in case I need to undo it. Oh man. Could use the other stride. Appreciate it. Ooh, oh. Not quite enough to get all the way over. Is there anything I can one-shot you with? Darn you, game. I can't even gambit from here, can I? Darn it. I do need to send out a unit to actually kill him. Okay, well, Lysithia's on the job. Let's just hope that there's no random ambush spawn from- No! Throw your axe at him! He has a vantage?! That's so mean! Can't afford to slack off. Okay, time to Ragnarok you. Okay. Okay. Good, but not enough. I am afraid of a random reinforcement spawn from above, honestly. Okay. That's another one. And then I should be able to do this. Let's bring her back. There we go. Just in case there is like a random reinforcement spawn. Just in case. A bit disappointing. That kind of sucked. At least the two things that went up were good stats. Hmm. I'll still get at the ready here just in case the support is needed. Well, I mean, I mean, 3% crit. That's a cool animation, People isn't it? Waiting on me. Good fuel for a scheme. Eight. I'm impressed. And we can cant over here and then say, nope. Thanks for that. Do a dance. And then. Yeah, I'll do this. Seems like a decent idea. And then kind of retreat over this way. Nice. But then over here, I have six more uses on the killing edge. And then it goes to the silver sword. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh no, please don't say that Archer attacks me this turn. Oh no, if the archer attacks me, I just lose. Yeah, there's the random reinforcement spawn from over there, the most fun and balanced thing in the world. Okay, that's one use. That's Juan. Must lead them well. Is the boss gonna attack me? All right, this is fine attacking Raphael. Thank goodness I pulled my Scythia out of there. Thank goodness for that, at least. They're moving. Ah, here's the boss. Does a whelp like you really expect to kill me? I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion, a knight by the hand of Count Roe. Do your worst. Here is something to believe in. Wait. I honestly thought I was about to, like, crit kill him, like, right there. That would have been incredible. Thank goodness I don't have to reset the entire map. So should I stay out of his range? Okay, I'll stay out of his range. I must pull through. I'll just stay out of his range. The others can come over towards me. I'll kill him next turn. Is what I'll do. I'll run up to him and like sort of creator or freaking brave sword him or something. <laughs> Anybody else who runs up to me dies. He just he just has so much armor that I can't just immediately crit kill him. Gosh start! Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I suppose that's fine. 
so many enemies. Madden and Classic. Sure is one a heck of a game mode, isn't it? Oh dang, I healed myself off of that with the Crystal Flames. I didn't want that. I don't have my crazy build anymore. This crazy build is not the best on the main unit just because of the Crystal Flames, is it? And we got the crit anyway. But now we should be in the health range that it, you know, procs. As cool of a build as this is, it really sucks on the main character just because of the freaking Crest of Flames. Honestly. Appreciate. Was that a... Was that a mountain unit that just healed him from before? Wait. I don't even know who that was that did that. What the heck is going on over here, huh? Yikes. Shall we? Stay in the little hidey hole. Stay safe in our little hidey hole area. Hill is pretty darn tanky. Shall we? Leave it to me. Hmm. Okay, this works. Nice. I'm glad that I have a bow on him. I'm glad about that. I don't know how much I missed that emote by Touch the Sky, but I'm now noticing the thing. Why not? Here comes the play. Onward. Here's the play. My last rescue is gonna bring Happy out of danger. And my next most beefy unit. Is gonna be here. Let's make this in quick. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, I- Oh, he came over! That's perfect! Can he attack from range? No, he can't. I just need to defeat him, right? Yeah, defeat the enemy commander. Okay, that's fantastic then. In that case. That is a lot of damage, isn't it? I mean... Does a whelp like you really expect to kill me? I am Gwendol, the Gwendol, a knight by the hand of Count Rome. Do your worst. My worst? Yeah, it's time to destroy him. He thinks. One, ah, ah, ah. two, ah, ah, ah. three, ah, ah, ah. four. I mean... Ah, it'll kill whether or not I get the freaking 46% crit. No hesitation. Nice. So I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. That worked out. I don't know why it takes so long on the freaking that screen. Welp. That old man must have been struggling with the position he found himself in. It's time to gather ourselves and pull back our troops. <laughs> that was 10 turns that felt like so much more. What a map. We had a nice finish, but oh boy. What a map, what the hell. Not okay. My Thank you goodness. So much. <laughs> to think we'd get into a scrap here of all places. We're lucky we all made it out alive. Uh, I'm sorry for involving you in this. A maddening classic is a pretty brutal game mode. Don't worry about it. In this day and age, it's a miracle I've been unscathed this long. Anyway, long time no see, Professor. Are you still watching this boy's back? Can you quit calling me a boy in front of everyone? I'm the leader of the Alliance now. It's not proper. Not proper, is it? Says the leader who has neglected Alliance territory for years. If you're really the master tactician, you should go back to working quietly at whatever little desk you do your planning on. Yeah, don't call me that either. Who even came up with that nickname? Huh. 
It's a perfect title for a boy who loves crafty schemes as much as you do. You should be grateful to the professor. On your own, you'd look like a scoundrel of a leader. <laughs> Claude's usually so flippant, but even he gets overwhelmed when Judith is around. As expected from the leader of the prestigious House Daphnel, her dignity is beyond compare, even if she is no longer one of the five great lords. Five great lords? The five most influential lords of the Leicester Alliance. They hold the voting rights at the roundtable conferences. House Daphnel used to be included among their ranks, but division from within has hastened their decline. Their vote has since been passed to the emerging Margrave Edmund. Thanks for the exposition, Gloucester boy. Boy? I will not. Now to business. There were some unexpected interruptions, but I've brought soldiers and supplies as promised. Thanks, Judith. I'll gladly take them off your hands. Hold your horses, boy. You're misunderstanding. These soldiers are precious to me. I made them what they are. I'm not about to loan them out to someone. No? Then why did you come here? What I'm saying is that I'll be joining your army. You're going to fight the Empire with the Knights of Saros, right? Fight for Lady Rhea? Not without me. That's admirable and all, but we still don't know for sure if Rhea is in the... Oh, she's there. A witness saw Lady Rhea being dragged off by the Imperial Army after the battle five years ago. Are you sure? One of my own saw it happen. I'm certain. So we were right in our decision to fight against the Empire. But you're the leader of House Daphne. Is it okay for you to leave your territory unattended? And what about you? Is it okay for you to leave the Regan territory unattended? That's... I... I've left it in the hands of a reliable retainer and... And I've asked that retainer to watch over Daphne territory as well. Wait, wait, wait. You just up and decided to get my retainer to do that without even asking me? <laughs> no respect, this one. What retainer? Oh, you haven't met him yet, Professor? His name is Nardell. He strikes me as a really special individual. And he's quite handsome, too. So that's your definition of handsome? No objections, then. Good. That settles it. House Daphnel is now yours to command. I'm sure you'd come along even if I refused. So be it. We'll be counting on you, Judith. With Judith joining our forces, we've secured some more troops and supplies, albeit not many. Hmm. I'm sorry it couldn't be more. No, it's enough for the time being. We'll use them to secure even more troops and supplies. You think we can do that? The key to my plan is Count Gloucester, the leader of the pro-Empire faction in the Alliance. You intend to sway my father to join the other side? If Count Gloucester were to switch to the other side, that would basically unify the Alliance. Then we could utilize our full military force in the fight against the Empire. You don't mean to ask me to persuade him, do you? That would be quite impossible. I don't plan on it. We'll just take his concerns out of the equation. The Aramid River flows along the border between Gloucester territory and the Empire, right? Of all the bridges that cross it, the Great Bridge of Murden is the only one near Gloucester territory large enough for an army. Currently, the Imperial Army occupies it. So, if we were to capture the bridge... Count Gloucester would be freed from the threat of the Empire, thanks to us. But we have to pass through Gloucester territory to reach the Great Bridge of Murden, do we not? Yes, and if we attempted it, naturally he would try to stop us. I am sorry, but I must ask. Surely you do not plan to engage in combat with my father? Don't worry. I want him as a future ally. What good would it do to waste both of our forces fighting? I take it you have a scheme? Who do you think you're talking to, Teach? Preparations are in the works even now. <laughs> so the Master Tactician is finally going to show us his true power. I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> I'll do my best to live up to that name by making my scheme as impressive as possible. I guess that's what the next chapter is going to be. The Sword of the Creator!
Part 2. Verdant Wind. Lone Moon. The Rose-Colored River. The Alliance Army successfully rendezvous with Judith and Alel with the addition of House Daphnil's forces. The time has come to invade Empire territory. Wait, the time has come to invade Empire territory? I thought this chapter was going to be about recruiting the House of Gloucester. Maybe it still is, but like... The opening is just... I'm so confused! The entire last cutscene before starting this month was like, Hey, let's go hatch a scheme to go recruit House Gloucester. But then it's like, oh, now we're invading the Empire. Good job, game. Preparations are complete. Now it's a game of patience. As they say, good things come to those who wait. Care to elaborate on this plan of yours, Claude? Can we really do this without battling my father? Pretty soon, Count Gloucester will need to gather his troops in the northern part of his territory. Against houses Regan and Daphne? You got it, Teach. And I need to pause briefly because I started dropping frames. And just as soon as they came, it seems like they're over. The combined forces of the Regan and Daphnil houses will threaten the northern part of the Gloucester territory. Nardell, that retainer I mentioned, is going to draw their attention. We'll take that opportunity to make our way through Gloucester territory and launch a surprise attack on the Great Bridge of Murden. And are you not concerned about the possibility that I may tip off my father? The future of the Alliance rests on this battle. I'm certain you won't betray us. <laughs> I will ensure our success. I know you will. If we can win this fight, then our next goal will be to topple Enbar, the Imperial capital. I said before that my plan was to meddle with the Empire, but I'm gonna do you one better. We are going to defeat the Empire, once and for all. But to do that, we can't afford to slip up here. Bear that in mind and prepare yourselves for the coming battle. So we are going to recruit House of Gloucester. Say index day is that there will be a hmm recital in the cathedral. You participate? Sure. Let's go. Let's go get some free faith magic experience. Hopefully, it's with characters that actually use it. Well, one of them does. Um, before, so I don't Cyril, know I don't use in this playthrough. I used it on my first and second playthrough, but not my third one. So I mean, give me that stamp. I need it. Okay. Well, hey look, March 4th. It's Harmonia's birthday. You have a birthday gift from Claude. I got a letter from Claude? What's, what's in the letter? Oh, and there's a new paralog available this month. Hilda would like to speak with me. Okay. Professor, I asked to be on the sidelines. Why did you put me on the battlefield? You did protect me, so I guess I can't complain. Wait a second, you're hurt. Did that happen when you were defending me? You know, when she said, why do you put me, like, on the front lines? I was about to make a freaking Zelda CDI joke, where it's like, oh, else you will die. Um, no. Oh, you're lying. How could you be so reckless? Perhaps you'll say that that's what friends do. They look out for each other and save each other. But if I saw you getting attacked, I wouldn't risk my neck to save you. Yes, you would. No, don't overestimate me. I don't know if I've told you this, Professor. I have a very impressive big brother. I'm not just saying that. He's strong, smart, nice. He's basically perfect. Before Claude turned up, people talked about him becoming the next leader of the Alliance. Don't mention that to Lawrence, by the way. He never shuts up about that kind of thing. Anyway, my parents have high expectations for my brother, and he almost always meets them. No one expects anything of me. If something's even a little bit difficult, I find someone else to do it for me. That's what I've done my whole life. Are you scared of disappointing people? Of course! I can't stand the idea of not meeting someone's expectations. 
I know how people react when that happens. From watching my brother, I mean. People force their expectations on you, and then if you fail, they look so disappointed. Whenever that happens to my poor brother, he looks just devastated. So don't expect anything of me, please. That way, I can't disappoint you. I won't expect anything, but I believe in you. You're stubborn. Okay, fine. Keep believing in me. I do want to support you and support my friends. I just don't want to let you down. It's interesting to see like these kind of deeper meanings behind the personalities of these different characters when you reach their A supports. The deeper motivations behind them being the way that they are and such. Um, anyway, so... What's this paralogue? Eternal Guardian. Five years after Rey's disappearance, a letter that she wrote prior to that battle has surfaced. The mysterious message raises more questions than answers. Suggested level 35! Half my units haven't even reached level 30 yet! I'm gonna adjust the doggy cam really quickly because she's like... Slowly inching more and more off the couch. Aren't you? <laughs> Aren't you? Huh? Like, why are you bothering me? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> um, well. <laughs> I rem I don't remember what this paralogue is. I remember doing it, though. I remember it from previous playthroughs and stuff. I need to go get some freaking Abyss Seals thingamabobs. Who ever rests? We have other support conversations, which I might even just save for next time to like balance things out, maybe. Or, like next exploration or something. Oh, hey there. Maybe. I'm gonna go get some Abyssian exam passes from. before I forget. It's not easy to leave one's home, but it had to be done. Judith asked us so earnestly, there was no way we could have refused. We can trust you, right? I'd hate to end up just another pointless death. Well, I don't order you around on the battlefield, so that's up to you.